the basis has always been the same. It's always been having Parkland students working one-on-one, -on -one, one on two with Garden Hills kids, uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders. We've actually increased the, the kind of the mentoring that we do now with, with the kids. We really found the, the relationships that are built uh, between the Parkland students and the uh, Garden Hill students is, uh, was one that became friends. Just the feeling of helping the community while um, you know going along with my major elementary education, just being able to work with students in an actual classroom environment. I think it helps me personally because I'm studying to be a teacher, so working with students in a real experience allows me to take what I'm learning in my classes, especially my education classes and my psychology classes, and applying them in a real life setting. My favorite part about working with Homework Club is being able to hear their, the students' creativity every time I go and like help work with them. Even if you're not an education major, um, just being able to do something good for your community and working with the kids and seeing them get excited when you walk in to help them, it's, it's nice. My favorite part is working with the student one-on-one. -on -one. So when you're paired with one student, it lets you work with that student every week. And so you get to kind of see how they change from week to week. Um, last semester my student told me at the end, she said, you better be coming back next semester. And that made me feel like she really did appreciate what I was doing and the fact that I was actually like making a difference in her life. Phenotypic Plasticity Research Experience for Community College Students, or PREX, is an NSF-funded biology research experience for undergraduate students. This program is a collaboration between the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and Parkland College, a community college in Champaign. This is something that makes PREX special. Whereas many summer research experiences are designed for college juniors and seniors, PREX is specifically designed for community college students. What we're doing in the classroom is completely different from what we're doing here as a research. In the classroom, it's all set in stone but that's provided due to people in research making that foundation. So you're doing all the work behind the scenes and it's kind of nice to see what's going on behind the scenes. To get that research experience so early on for community college students, because community college students, we really start out, we're basically freshmen and sophomores and we're not really exposed greatly to big time universities. So coming to a big time university is one thing, enrolling as a, enrolling as a student, but coming and actually working for a university, that's a whole different ballgame. Here at Parkland, we believe in giving students an education that goes beyond the classroom. Students get uh, hands-on experience, experience um, that would help them in the real world, and that gives them an added value, I think, in that students who take our classes with us and have these experiences actually um, have us write letters of recommendation for them, for future employment, for scholarship opportunities, and to transfer to four-year universities. A good example of this is our students uh, who in the summers get to participate in actual archaeological excavations. Going out on an archaeological excavation is a really cool experience for students. They, not only do they get to uh, bond and uh, become really good friends with the other students and the faculty who lead them out on these excavations, they learn how to do surveying. They learn how to read geological maps. They learn how to read all sorts of like remote sensing maps and GIS technologies, which are very useful uh, in the workplace. Uh, when they go out and they're actually doing like test pits or digging out these like excavation units, they also learn uh, procedures for curating and preserving the artifacts that they are finding. They learn cataloging skills, they learn mapping skills, and all of these uh, specific research skills help them out if they decide to work in archaeology or if not. I mean, we've had students who have found internships or uh, students who go on to work in fields similar to archaeology. They end up working in government jobs, they work for the national parks, uh, they work for nonprofit organizations, or they work for the corporate world. AMP is an on-campus, student-staffed strategic communications firm that provides students with the opportunity to gain hands-on experience doing promotional work beyond what they're able to do in the classroom. The students develop strategic communication plans for nonprofits in the Champaign-Urbana community, so the clients come to us for help solving communication challenges and then the students work together to solve those problems. 
It lines up with a lot with, that we do in class, but I find that with AMP, there's a little bit different responsibility because you are working with clients who are going to take your work and use it out in the community. The students work together to create a comprehensive plan uh, for the client and they begin by doing research. They learn everything they can about the client and also the industry that the client is in. And from there they develop a strategic plan that they then uh, present to the client as uh, communication ideas to help the client move their strategic communication initiatives forward. Uh, some of those have included print materials, sometimes it's social media, sometimes it's, it's graphic design. It really depends on the needs of the client and, and, and what we can offer them as an organization. I've gained so many skills that I know are going to give me a leg up in uh, once I get out of Parkland and go on to a university in, in the field. Um, things like knowing how to put together a strategic plan, knowing how to run social media for a small business instead of personally. Uh, even things like web design are things that I know are going to be uh, beneficial to me as I go on.